Riley. And I'm Isabel. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Weekly, Wolf. Weekly Wolf. This is our last broadcast of the year. What are you planning to do this summer, Kylie? I'm planning on touring colleges up north and preparing for my senior year. How about you, Isabel? I might be going to Maui, I think. I don't know. Our reporter, Claire, asked other students what their plans are. Let's go see what they said. Okay, so what are you doing over the summer? Um, I'm going to take a summer trip to Florida and Tennessee. Are you going to be doing anything at home? Um, probably not. Only other stuff. Just going with mom to work once she gets gets to go back to work. I am going to be going up north and touring colleges as well as volunteering for Comanche Regional Hospital and American Red Cross in Fort Sill. Um, well, so I'm going to be a junior next year, so I'm going to study for the ACT and the PSAT, especially since like when you're a junior, you can get a merit scholarship. So yeah, and um, I've been volunteering at Comanche County Memorial Hospital for the past two years. So I'm hoping to do that next year, but I'm not really sure yet. And I'm definitely gonna look up some colleges since that's coming up soon. And I wanna be able to tour them whenever the pandemic is over. And um, I'm currently in this play Into the Woods Junior, but of course it got postponed. So I think we're rehearsing for that in the summer, but I'm not really sure. Cool, thank you. Uh, well, it depends, because if the COVID-19 isn't here during the summer, which I'm pretty sure it will be, we would go traveling, but first, before we would, we would have to pack for California. Are you doing anything at home? Not much. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Thanks, Claire. If you guys haven't heard, the contract has been signed and the building in the land next to Lawton Academy, which used to be the Lighthouse Baptist Church, will be officially part of Lawton Academy. Whenever we come back to school, the secondary students will move into that building and the fourth and fifth graders will end up coming up to the current secondary building. I'm so excited. Let's go see what the weather will be like next week. At 60s, make sure you stay hydrated if you're spending your time outside. It will also be pretty windy and humid, but there are low chances of rain on Monday through Thursday. Thank you. After a month of quarantine, some businesses have started to open up again. Let's go learn more about that with Raven. Last month saw a whirlwind of tragedy and confusion across the United States, but through it some light has shone. The president, along with experts of the Coronavirus Task Force, and has a set of guidelines anticipating the reopening of the country. These guidelines consist of three phases, which are intended to steadily open non-essential businesses and travel, along with lowering the restrictions on social interaction, according to the intensity of this pandemic. Before beginning these phases, officials are encouraged to meet the gating criteria, which require a decreasing rate of reported COVID-19 and influenza-like illness and cases or percentage of positive tests for a 14-day period as well as extensive testing of exposed health care workers. This model is being both considered and criticized by other countries. Nearly every person, regardless of geographic location, uh, assets, or status, has felt the current pressure. The United States government has been faced with the same pressure. And although it can seem volatile in comparison to the current and unfamiliar pandemic, it's sometimes comforting to see the progress that tends to come out of for lack of a better phrase, testing times such as these. As I mentioned previously, this year has had its fair share of confusion. Many have pointed out that social media is not perfect, with misinformation usually being shared more than the often most extreme truth. The intensity of this situation has been undoubtedly affected, for better or worse, by the modern world. While many condemn mistakes made by numerous people, even including President Trump, it's still important to consider all angles when judging others. Remember to stay positive in this way, and to better inform people, not demean them, as we continue into what will most likely be a long and eventful summer. Reporting for Weekly Wolf, I'm Raven. Thank you, Raven. You all, especially all of you up here in the secondary, probably know Eminem as a famous rapper 
with one of his songs mentioning Mom's Spaghetti. Inspired by the lyric in Lose Yourself, Eminem sent a pasta named Mom's Spaghetti to the frontline healthcare workers in Detroit. Healthcare workers in Detroit battling against the coronavirus recently received a gift from the rapper Eminem. The Henry Ford Healthcare System posted pictures of Mom's Spaghetti with a thank you to the rapper. The pasta's name is a reference to Eminem's Lose Yourself from the film 8 Mile. The rapper opened a Mom's Spaghetti pop-up store in downtown Detroit in 2017 at a shelter. Michigan is one of the states that COVID-19 is hitting the hardest. The state reported 36,641 known cases, including nearly 3,100 deaths, according to the State Department of Public Health. Later that evening, after the donation was made, the Detroit Medical Center Health System tweeted a thank you to the Union Joints Restaurant Group for a similar delivery. For someone as famous as Eminem to open up a shop in reference to one of his songs is an amazing and hilarious move as a celebrity. Reporting for Weekly Wolf, I'm Kinsey. Back to you. Thanks, Kinsey. In addition to Eminem, even more celebrities are working to help those during the trying times. YouTube is releasing free YouTube originals with some famous content creators to help keep people entertained at home. Let's find out more about that with Maddie. Since the coronavirus is keeping us inside, YouTube has decided to release a lot of YouTube original shows for free, including some shows on YouTube Kids, and they'll create some new YouTube originals for people to watch. On April 25th, YouTuber Jimmy Donaldson, known as Mr. Beast, hosted a live streaming charity event with YouTube Originals, where many famous YouTubers, such as Ninja, Matt Pat, and Casey Neistat, played a game of rock, paper, scissors to see who the champion would be. The winner's prize consisted of a $250,000 donation to the coronavirus aid organization of their choice. If you missed the live stream, you can watch it on Mr. Beast's YouTube channel. With the help of the audience, the stream was able to raise over $4 million for COVID-19. Matt Stefanina, a choreographer on YouTube, teamed up with YouTube Originals to host a global dance event on April 29th, International Dance Day. Hashtag Move With Me works with choreographers all around the world as they celebrate, honor, and fundraise for first responders on the front lines of the global health crisis. YouTube will be releasing even more YouTube Originals in the following days. Reporting for Weekly Wolf, I'm Maddie. Thanks, Maddie. There is a lot of uncertainty happening because of the coronavirus. One thing everyone is currently uncertain about is the standardized testing. How will the coronavirus affect high schoolers applying for college? Let's find out with Bonita. Current high schoolers, especially juniors, are probably feeling anxious about what will happen with standardized testing and college admissions. The April ACT test and all SAT tests from April to June were canceled, leaving students wondering what their options will be. ACT plans to offer flexibility for their summer tests by creating additional makeup test dates and allowing students to change from the June to July test date for free. ACT is also planning for the future by announcing multiple ways to take the test in the fall. In addition to their regular fall test dates, they will offer on-campus testing, section retesting, and online testing. Students will also have the option to super score their tests. With the spring AP exams being taken online this year, College Board is confident that they could offer the SATs online if they could not resume in-person testing in the fall. During this time, students have more free resources than ever to study for these standardized tests. SAT takers can continue to study for the SAT on Khan Academy. ACT takers can find live webinars, ACT Academy, and more resources on the ACT website. Because of the limited testing opportunities, many colleges have decided to become test optional for those enrolling in the 2020 to 2021 school year. Students may not be able to visit colleges right now, but most colleges are making more digital resources available to prospective students. These resources include virtual tours, videos, panels, Q&As, and the ability to chat with students or admissions representatives. Of course, these resources cannot replace visiting the campus, but they allow us to find more information about colleges from home. Reporting for Weekly Wolf, I'm Bonita. Thanks, Bonita. Thank you to everyone who posted a photo of their pet on Facebook. All pets are adorable. I just have to put that out there. All pets are adorable, but only a few of the pets could win. Let's go see who won.
congratulations to all the adorable pets. This week, we would like you to post a photo of something that is very important to you. The winners of this challenge will be posted on Facebook. for your team. We're almost at the end of the school year. We have a surprise for y'all. It's been a long time since we've seen Harry Potter, but we've saved the last installment of the series until this broadcast. Please remember that we filmed this over a month ago when we were not in quarantine and we were still in school. Make sure to keep washing those hands and practice social distancing. Now, let's go see what Harry Potter is up to. Previously on Harry Potter. Welcome students to Lawton Academy of Wizards and Sciences. Your task is to defeat the Yeetus House this year. Let's also welcome Harry Potter because I favor him over all of you. Ha ha. Where is Yeetus? I must find him and defeat him. For it is the one thing that Dumbledore told me to do. Uh, stop! Reductor! <laughs> So, Potter, you finally found me. McCall! I'll fight you, even if it means that I die! Very well, then. I must defeat you because of the one thing that Double Dory told me to do. That's foolish! was still here to help me. <gasps> Bagrid! I thought I had killed you. No. But what are you here for? I'm here to help you train to end defeat Yeetus. <gasps> yes, that's exactly what I need. The trip there is dangerous, so you may be needing this. <gasps> the Red Power Stone of Legend. Perfect for my wand. Bagrid! I will use it well. Goodbye! Oh, oh I've become terrible. Wait, up! Wait, I have to tell you something. I'm your father. That was fantastic. I'm going to miss Harry Potter. Now let's go see what Mrs. Smith has to say to us this week. Good morning, Latin Academy. Well, we find ourselves in the last week of 
distance learning work. Can I get a whoop whoop from the parents? <laughs> I know you're excited. Uh, we are not through with school. We are doing some other events, um, but they won't be as hard to do parents as, uh, as trying to come alongside us and teach without the benefit of us being right there with you. I do definitely see some advantages of quarantine. Um, a lot of families are getting a lot closer, but boy, it's hard to teach from a, a distance. Um, we've got a lot of work to do over the summer to kind of figure out how, if we end up in quarantine again, we can, we can do this more efficiently and really be able to give the kids the kind of feedback they need quickly. Um, but hopefully we've We've done a good job with your kids. We've tried. We've really tried. <laughs> um, th last Thursday night, uh, the first and second graders um, tried, speaking of trying, to put on the musical Joust via Zoom. Uh, we had one problem. We couldn't do any music because you had to have all the people muted at the same time, and first and second graders know how to unmute themselves. We never could get the music to play. So we did a musical without the music, <laughs> but it was really cute. And Mrs. St. Cross and I, and Mr. St. Cross and I, uh, sat and edited it till about 11 o'clock that night. And it's on Facebook, and it's really cute. It's about 18 minutes long, and you you get, you'll get a smile from it if you want to watch it. They did a really good job, great job. I loved your costumes, first and second graders. You did such a good job, and your acting was wonderful. The um, the rest of the time that we've been here has been with touring and interviewing. We did our second uh, acceptance of students. And as of Friday, if every single one who we invited or who we accepted comes, we will have 203 students. Ah, that's a lot of students. <laughs> the elementary is officially closed. Um, we ended up with more than 18 in some of the rooms. So because we made the promise to you that we wouldn't, well, we didn't make a promise, but because we said, and our word is as good as a promise, that we wouldn't put more than 18 in the classroom, uh, we're interviewing some new teachers today, and uh, um, we're going to make sure that we don't go over the 18 in our, in our classrooms. So we're going to make, make sure. We've got a couple of extra rooms since we bought the new building, so that's going to work well. Can I tell you that next year is going to look so different? If your child is going to be in pre-K through third grade, they will be in the current elementary building. If they are going to be in fourth or fifth, they will be in what is what I'm sitting in right now, the secondary building, which will now be called the intermediate building. And if your child is sixth grade or above, they will go over to what used to be the church or the skate arena. That's where we will be holding school. Uh, at this point, we plan to start on time. Um, we don't have any plans to, to not start on time. Uh, you never know. If the famous second wave hits, who knows? But if not, we should be able to start on time, uh, which is the first Wednesday in August. I believe that's the third. It might be the fifth. Don't quote me. I don't have the date right here in front of me. But it's the first Wednesday in August. I know that. Um, the, uh, the open houses will be incredibly important to make sure you understand where you're, where you're dropping your kids. Um, the sixth grade that's going over will be the very last sixth grade to go over to that building. We are going to uh, put the sixth grade back into um, elementary because Oklahoma Secondary Schools Activity Association does not recognize sixth graders as junior high and will not let them compete in band or vocal or any of the sports. So we figured, why, why should we push them up there then? They just get told you can't be in it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and the, the, the current fourth graders will stay in this building for sixth and it will be a fourth, fifth, and sixth grade building. Um, parents of junior high and high school, you need to know there is no cafeteria in that building. And when we started talking about with the kids, when we were just thinking about how we would do it in that building, um, they said, we don't want a cafeteria. Just give us refrigerators and microwaves and we'll bring our lunch and we'll warm it up and let us put it in there and let us order Grubhub. So your kids have spoken. I don't have room for a, a cafeteria right now. They'd have to walk all the way back over here to this building for that, and they'd rather not. So I need you to know they're bringing their lunch next year. I'll try to provide some things in the tech shop that they can eat in case they forget, or maybe I'll just have some bread and jelly or something. Or bit, I don't know, something that I keep just in case your kid forgets. But uh, um, they, don't, they don't plan to do a cafeteria, so you need to know that, okay, because that's going to change. <laughs> and I don't mind. we got big old refrigerators. If you want to send all the week's wor worth of food and label it and put it in the refrigerator, that's fine, so they don't forget it. That's okay. Um, the, uh, I'm, I'm very excited about the new year, and I'm excited about the new kids that are coming. Um, I'm excited about seeing you all again. Um, it's going to be a quick summer, as quick as this seven weeks is gone. Uh, because we have a lot of moving to do, but it's coming soon. I, I also will be telling you what the prize is.
for the, the points. You've got this whole week to earn points. So by next Monday, we're going to know who the winners are. And by next Monday, I'll be able to tell you what you get, okay? But it'll be something good, I promise. Uh, I also know that Mrs. Uh, Johnson and Mr. Uh, Smith have been working, trying to figure out what to do with your scholar dollars. Um, uh, there'll be something that you can use it on. So just look for that very quickly here, too. We'll be talking to you over the next days before school ends. Um, those of you in the secondary, your credit score points will go over. If you're coming back, your money from summer funds will continue over to the next year because you didn't get to use it. So I'm just going to write it out to the next one. Um, the uh, team points, we will have a winner for that one, and you will get lunch out. We'll just figure out how to do that. Um, the summer camps, we are looking at doing three in July, right after the 4th of July. I think 6th of July is the, the Monday. Uh, I know the first two are called soccer and STEM, the, um, and then um, field sports and fine arts. Um, I'm not sure what the third one is yet, but I'm going to get in the other courses that we usually teach during that time. And then that fourth week of July, we are going to try, if sports are back, we're going to try to have a soccer camp in the morning from like 8.30 to 11.30. And if you are one of the people who is going to play soccer for us, Hopefully you have uh, received the notice from the Lawton Soccer Club that they are not going to have their season. You know you have to, um, if, you don't, if you don't know, go look on their Facebook. There's a post that says you need to write to them for a refund. It'll be a partial refund. Um, you're going to end up getting, uh, you know, you're going to end up not getting back about 40 to $45, depending on what you pay. So we want to tell you that if you want to come to our soccer camp, which will kind of officially kick off soccer practices, um, normally the price would be $75. For those of you who paid for the uh, season, yours will be 30 or 35, depending on whether your loss was 40 or 45 dollars. We'll get you. We'll let you recomp that. We didn't get any of the money. Lawton Soccer Club has it. We don't have it, but we, we feel bad that you're uh, um, that you're out 40 or 45 dollars. So it doesn't. It, 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 we'll just give you the discount with us, and that's going to be kind of the official start to soccer practices. So uh, um, uh, come to the camp, uh, look, for, look for information on that, and we'll get going with some coaches and get going with some practices, and then they'll start right when school starts. So uh, look for that. Maybe we can get, get you back some of that money, and we can ma maybe get to play a season. <laughs> It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, I kept telling people, we have six teams, or we did, <laughs> until, until COVID sent us into our, our houses. Um, but we're going to try to get that to get that come, to come back. Besides that, we are also going to try to get um, – a girls volleyball team in the high school and uh, Mr. Smith is trying to work a deal with a local church to see if we can't get a basketball court and maybe have a basketball team this year I don't know we'll see it's a lot of stuff I'm going to need some coaches stepping up because Mr. Smith can't do it all but uh, oh exciting times ahead um, our cup run us over and we're so appreciative of you and I, I want you to to know that um, we love you and we miss you and we've been praying for you, and we hope that your family has had some time to get um, close and that you've been well and that you stay well. And uh, um, we'll be talking to you more about graduations and award ceremonies. The individual teachers will. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks, everyone. That's all we have for this time. Thanks, Thanks for watching, watching you Wolves. We'll see you next year. Bye. 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 Inspired by the lyric in okay, sorry. Inspired by the lyric in Lose Yourself, Eminem sent <laughs> Oh gosh, okay. Inspired the lyric in Lose Yourself by Eminem. Eminem sent a pasta named Mom Spaghetti to the frontline health care that <laughs> I can't okay. I can't mom spaghetti. Okay. <laughs> and by the <laughs> Inspired by the lyric in Lose Yourself, Eminem sent a pasta named Mom's Spaghetti to the frontline healthcare, healthcare workers in Detroit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Who's your today? Don. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your today? Don. Who's your today? Don. Who's your today? Who's your today? Who's your today? Who's your today?
Tiffany. My twin is Tiffany. Hi. Reporting for Weekly Wolf, I'm Bonita. Okay, we're doing that again. I don't know if y'all meant for that to be my line, but just in case, I'm gonna say it anyway. No, I'm not. How did you come up with your outfit? Well, uh, I looked in my dresser and then I saw sweatpants and a t-shirt and then I put it on. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Why am I being asked? <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally wearing sweatpants. YouTube is re YouTube is releasing. How did you come up with this outfit? Um, so I won a math counts tournament and so like this is my math counts shirt. And then I was like, this shirt is too long. Let me tie it with a scrunchie. So I was like, hey, I have a matching one. Let me wear a matching scrunchie. <laughs> and then I saw some pants just laying in my closet. And I was like, ooh, cool. Maybe I should wear those. And I put them on. Boom, outfit. That's pretty cool. How long have you been going to this school? Well, I was here in the first grade. That's pretty cool. Thank you. But <laughs> I didn't even. Oh, the girls in the box. What is with the whip in the box? Excuse me. <laughs> Who are you guys? I'm Isabella from Phineas and Ferb. He's Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. Who are you guys? We're all from Phineas and Ferb. I'm Isabella. He's Ferb and... Just... 